Do you know how strong is India's space industry? However, when we think of space agencies, we often talk about NASA or CNSA at the first time. But we don't seem to be familiar with India's space endeavors. In fact, India has been so ambitious in the space. In 2019, Modi declared in a national broadcast that India has become a space superpower. Is it true? How is India doing in this field? Will it be able to take the lead in global competition? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Okay, at first, let's start with a brief history of India's space development. When we talk about this story, the person we have to mention is Dr. Vikram Ambalal Sarabhai. After the successful launch of the world's first artificial satellite by the Soviet Union in 1957, Dr. Vikram Ambalal Sarabhai, the father of Indian spaceflight, begged to meet the then Prime Minister of India, Nehru, and asked for the formation of a space sector of Indian. He argued that while India could not compete economically with countries like the United States and Russia, it needed to develop advanced technology as soon as possible in order to win a place on the international stage. Dr. Sarabhai established a number of important scientific institutions in India for physical research and space research. He later became the chairman of the National Space Commission of India. It was because of his efforts that India's space career took off. Without him, India's space career would not have been what it is today. Although the economic situation in India at that time was not good and many people thought that it was very unwise for India to invest a lot of money in the field of aviation under such circumstances. As for these doubts, Sarabhai put it this way. For us, there is no strength to do lunar exploration, manned space flight and compete with the economic powers. But if we want to play a prominent role in the country's livelihood and in the international community, we must look at applied technologies that solve real human and social problems and play a unique role in these areas. The Indian space industry had a difficult start. There were limited fund, so the rocket satellites had to be transported by bicycle and even by bullock carts. In 1963, India finally launched its first sounding rocket, and by 1980, it became the sixth country in the world to have an independent satellite launch capability. In 2008, India became the third Asian country to successfully explore the moon, and in 2014, India became the only country in the world to successfully explore Mars for the first time. Recently, the Indian Space Research Organization announced that it would work with the private sector to enhance India's aerospace capabilities and help the Indian Air Force become an aerospace superpower. In addition, on October 11, 2021, India also announced the formation of the Indian Space Association, an industry association of space and satellite companies. Why did India set up a space association? Indian officials believe that space technology is rapidly becoming a new frontier in human technological development. The objective of setting up the Indian Space Society is to make India a global leader in space. The Indian Space Society shall work with stakeholders across the system to develop an enabling policy framework that will also seek global partners for the Indian space industry to bring in key technologies and investments. According to the Indian Space Research Organization, the global space sector economy is currently about $360 billion. Yet India accounts for only about 2%. This situation needs to change. Also the role of Indian space in protecting space assets comes with it. As private sector activities in space increase, such as commercial satellite launches, space tourism, asteroid mining, and a host of other projects, these Indian space assets will also need to be protected by their own forces. This explains why many countries have been building up their respective space forces. 
The United States created the Space Force in 2019 as a new branch of the U.S. military to protect U.S. satellites. And the United Kingdom, France, Canada and Japan are following the U.S. lead in forming a Space Force. Moreover, Germany announced the creation of a Space Military Command. And since 2015, Russia has been working to create an aerospace force. It is in this context that Prime Minister Modi announced in 2018 the government's intention to form the Indian Defense Space Agency by integrating the space assets of the Army, Navy and Air Force. It was formally established in 2019 under the command of an Air Force officer and consists of about 200 officers from the Army, Navy and Air Force. In fact, the Indian Defense Space Agency conducted its first integrated space warfare exercise in July 2019, which brought together personnel from all branches of the military. However the Defense Space Agency is still under construction and is not yet fully operational. The Defense Space Agency will work closely with the Defense Research Development Organization and the Space Research Organization to integrate India's military assets, early warning aircraft, surveillance platforms, and commercial and military satellites to enable intelligence sharing between the Army, Navy and Air Force. Notably, satellites are critical to modern warfare because they are the key communication link for ground, maritime and airborne equipment and require sufficient data for communication. The Defense Space Agency is also expected to play a greater role in protecting space-based assets. Many say the global space race is the second Cold War. But in fact the development of space power does not necessarily mean that there will be a war. In most cases, an increase in space power will ensure that the enemy will not dare to attack you. Space is now no longer a frontier area, but a complementary force in many combat missions. Air and space should be complementary components of a defense force in order to monitor and respond to ballistic missiles flying in the air and in space. Thus the air and space networks must be integrated. And now, the Modi government is opening up the space sector in the hope that such a network will soon become a reality. In today's video we describe the process of India's development in the space sector and its plans for the future. It is clear that in the present time of continuous technological development, the competition between countries has not only been on land, but space has become a new battlefield, in a relatively peaceful way. India, one of the major powers, is also investing heavily in order to take its place in the space sector. However, there are those who believe that the huge cost of developing space is not cost-effective and that it is better to invest in infrastructure development and social security. So what do you think? Should India invest a lot of money in space without seeing any progress in the short term? How long will it take for India to catch up with the developed countries? Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.